Recording in progress. Hi, everyone. It's Will. Thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, we're going to continue to talk about uh, myself and how I am running expenses through the HELOC. Um, in some other videos, or if you look at some other um, content creators, uh, you'll find that um, they've indicated that you can use a HELOC like a checking account. Uh, that is to the case to some degree. Um, with the HELOC that I have, I seem to be kind of limited in the number of checks, as I mentioned earlier. However, it is what it is, but it will become what I make of it to help you to continue to try to understand a line of credit, a.k.a. a HELOC. Um, so with that in mind, um, unlike the checking account, you can get, I guess, a number of checks or unlimited um, checks come to you very quickly. With my HELOC, it's five checks in a set, and then they have to see me spend the checks that are already in process. Um, they're also about two weeks behind in terms of making electronic transfers from um my HELOC electronically through ACH to a bank so that I can pay off uh, the credit card. So there's a lot of um, moving parts um, with this, um, this particular HELOC. Now, as a reminder, uh, what happened was um, I went online <clears throat> searching for lenders. Um, I had my credit pull a number of times. Um, and this was a HELOC that would give me um, allow as an investor. So as a vester HELOC and not on my primary home. So again, uh, 50,500 for the HELOC. And they only gave me about 23% of the value of my home. The home was valued at 220,000 and they gave me 23% of that, which amounted to about $50,000, $500. Okay, now with that in mind, let's get back to how I'm looking at trying to work it and pay it down. Uh, board's still a little wet. All right, all right. So in the meantime, trying to deal with those five checks, I've identified that over the last two months that I've been able to fully engage with uh, this particular HELOC, um, and I'm no longer in a 90-day lockout period. There's a kind of lockout period, I think, in some HELOCs for my HELOC. When I first got in in April, there was a 90-day lockout. So now... In total, the checks that I'm writing monthly and putting inside of the HELOC amount to $42.40.60.60. Cents. So when I put my paycheck in, which is... Um, $16.93, I think, um, times two, and then I'm putting um, investment income in temporarily about $2,000. It all comes out to approximately about 5000 I don't remember the exact number, but 5000 plus. So every two weeks, I'm throwing in my paycheck and two thousand dollars. I'm sorry. Every two weeks, I'm throwing in my paycheck of sixteen ninety three and also two thousand dollars in investment um, income. Now I'm able to write out of the expenses of the HELOC four thousand two hundred sixty dollars and sixty cents. In addition to that, I still have five credit cards that I'm working with because I pared them down to about uh, 11 from about 14 to 15. Um, so I had a lot of my income going different places. And some people have called that segregation of income. So I had multiple credit cards and I pared them down from about 14 credit cards to now 
I'm only making charges on five credit cards. So of the five credit cards that I am have, and I was going to write a check to pay them, they're totaling about $265 a month. Um, when I had 14, uh, I think the highest that I got to was like maybe two, I'm going to just say 2,000 even about five months ago. This is what I was running, running on four cards, um, but I paired them down to now five cards. So I'm unable to pay a credit card with another credit card. So I was looking to use those checks to write onto these 265 and have that also included inside of the HELOC. So that would have given me each month a grand total of $4,525.60 going into the HELOC and then coming out as bills. Now with my income, let's see if I can do the calculations. All right, so with my income, I think it was 1689 every two weeks. 1689 times two plus uh, 2000 in investment income. That's about 5378. So $4,525 was going into the HELOC for bills, my total income, 3,000, I mean, 5,378 from four, five, 25, 60. So that should leave me with some cash flow that's sitting inside of the HELOC. 45, 25, 60. That leaves approximately um, $852. So that's one of the things of the HELOC. With this $852 that can vary up and down each month, because I'm letting it sit there every month and compound. So next, next month, that's another $852 that should be sitting there. Another $852, $52, $852 to help bring down the HELOC. So that's one of the factors of bringing down the HELOC is that you're letting whatever cash flow you have sit on the credit card or sit on a HELOC rather than just sitting in a bank. So again, what I used to do, have my money just sitting in the bank and pay bills. Now, anything that I have left over is sitting on some sort of debt, particularly now in my case is the HELOC. So with the situation that I'm faced now uh, with the credit cards, um, trying to come up with a new strategy to deal with only getting five checks, possibly every two weeks until they pick up the system Yeah, so that, that's what I'm kind of working on now, looking at a different strategy um, and possibly going into a different uh, direction. My total credit card um, balances across the five credit cards are is um, five six. Now, I'm, I'm good uh, with that because when I first started this journey, um, I think I had uh, forty-five dollars to $50,000 worth of debt. So it has come down significantly. 
and is fluctuating up and down um, each month. Um, so some of these credit cards just go up because they have they have some extra stuff on it. But yeah, uh, the credit card um, balances have come down significantly. So um, that's been how I kind of work with the velocity banking. So in general, and to recap, about forty five, I'm sorry, forty two hundred dollars is going into the HELOC on the bills. Still trying to figure out a way to get the remaining $265 in credit cards under the HELOC. Uh, I have a cash flow of about $852 a month. That's sitting on the HELOC uh, every month, helping to bring down the debt. Now, again, sometimes that's going to be higher, that's going to be lower. Uh, my insurance is coming up, and that's uh, about $245 for six months of coverage. So this $852 is going to get hit with the uh, $245. So again, with the cash flow, it's going to be up and down. But the point of the matter is that no longer is my cash flow sitting in the bank, maybe making point point zero 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 one percent uh, at least because of the debt that I have paid down, I've saved uh, thousands, thousands of dollars versus what was going on in the bank in general. Uh, so uh, that's that's where I'm at with part three. Um, still paying down the bills. Um, I sent off um, $4,200 worth of bills um, partially for this month. But the challenge, again, as I mentioned, getting five checks at a time and possibly two weeks uh, gap between them. This is the HELOC that I selected. The devil was in the details. I thank God that I was blessed to still get what I did um, in terms of the HELOC and just, just making it um, work. Uh, the current balance of the HELOC today um, is $44,144 and 90 cents down from 50,500 in um April when I first got it. So yeah, I I've, I've made some dent. I've kept some of the um, the debts off of it. I've been going in and I've been going out. Um so just try to figure out a way to um, speed this process up and um continue to um understand this uh in general and um hopefully the servicer um of the HELOC will kind of speed things up all right well thank you very much for stopping by this is Will I'm not a uh CPA I'm not a public accountant I'm not an attorney I'm a political economist just sharing um my experience with a HELOC a line of credit and velocity banking All right, so uh, stay strong and continue to learn about Velocity Banking. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button um, so we can move up on the algorithm. Um, and if you have any questions, anything, would like to work with my team, uh, definitely shoot me an email or give me a call with my contact information. All right, thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.